We're at the Macaulay Salmon Hatchery for a little Salmon 101. Emily, take it away. Sure. So these are chum salmon, also called the kitas or the dogs. And basically what all of these tens of thousands of salmon that we have on site are doing right now is fighting up this fish ladder that's behind this window. This is one of the last legs, one of the last segments of their journey uh, up a river or a freshwater creek. In our case, it's a fish ladder. Uh, this fish ladder is 450 feet long, and these chum salmon have been fighting up it for a couple hours or a couple of weeks. We were just up at the river and there were thousands of salmon mm -hmm. swimming upstream. Sure. What's happening in a natural spawning situation, what you saw, is that these salmon uh, will stir up a gravel bed. And with about a 5% chance of fertility, those eggs are going to be fertilized. So that's a natural spawning environment. So it's quite challenging. Uh, you can see why that salmon has thousands of eggs inside her There's in so hopes many. that one gets fertilized. And looking at all the thousands, though, I mean, we're at a hatchery here, so mm -hmm. conservation is important. You're, sure. you're, you're educating us now. Yeah. But what's the fine line between conservation and food? Uh, in Alaska, you really don't have to worry about that because these hatcheries are supplying the commercial demand. So this is an incubation tray. This is where these baby salmon, uh, once those eggs have been fertilized, are going to live for that one winter. So we have a room and there's 650 of these trays all stacked up on one another. Fresh water continuously flowing throughout. And now for the hooky spooky part of the tour. <laughs> <laughs> the creepy crawly part. No, this is cool. This is where all the this is where all the eggs are. This is where all the eggs are. What's so, the purpose of having it be so dark? So the reason that this room has to be dark is that light affects their growth rate. How many salmon will make it out of this room into the Pacific? About 125 million. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> We're in the baby making business. Well, yes, you are. <laughs> and you do it well. We do it well. Yep. This is pretty intense. It's a lot of fish, uh, almost 200,000 to be exact. <laughs> wow, and I noticed it like they're like gathering in that corner and then shooting out. Well, they're reacting to us. So we, I just saw your hand go that way. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm directing an orchestra. I... <laughs> <laughs> Emily, I love it. I learned more about salmon than I ever thought I would in an amazing cool. setting. Yeah. And here we are where they come, basically these guys are coming home to They're die. They're coming home. They're coming home to die. So this is basically the starting point of our fish ladder. Uh, this fish ladder is 450 feet long and they're going to fight their way up it, changing, dying the entire time. Pacific salmon, both male and female, regardless of which five species it is, only has one life cycle naturally. So yep, they're coming home to die. I'm still amazed. I can't get it in my head how they come. <laughs> all over the world and they come back here they to come this back spot. Here. I know, it's amazing. 